Hey everybody, welcome. You are, um, you have the privilege of, of being introduced to some fantastic recipes by yours truly, which is Chef Corbin and my beautiful assistant, Paji. Oh yeah, see, she's a diva already. We haven't even started. Listen, the purpose of these recipes and this whole kind of new movement on the food and inspiration by recipes with myself is really to have the students have a voice on some of the foods that they eat, but more importantly, get them to fall in lines with, the, with nutrition without sacrificing flavor. Now, I promise you two things. The food is going to be fantastic, but more importantly, it's going to be a lot easier to prepare. So I don't, I know what the first thing you're going to think is, oh my gosh, more work. This isn't about more work. This is about working smarter versus harder. And the techniques and the tips that I'm going to show you today are going to prove that. So why don't we get cooking? I think it's easy. Yeah, we're going to cook. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, give me 10. Welcome to Mexico, Raj. Do you like it? I love it. <laughs> it's like we're on a resort. Where's the tequila? Um, black bean and chicken tostada. Really, it's an open-faced taco. Okay, it starts with these guys right here, and it's all about assembly. All of you are going to get the recipes, which will give you all the details and the specs and how to prepare it. I'm going to go through it really quickly here to show you how easy it is to assemble and serve. Sound like a plan? Yes. Okay, first thing. Tortillas, mm -hmm. crispy lettuce, mm -hmm. right there, just finely shredded, put that on each one. Yeah. The reason we do this is we don't want the tortilla to get soggy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Chicken leg on top versus chicken breast. Mm -hmm. Full flavor, lots of moisture. Black bean hummus, which is just a beautiful marriage of minced black beans from a can with a bunch of flavors and spice. Again, you'll get the recipe and the ingredients. Homemade guacamole. Some of you actually might have guacamole come out of a jar, which is easier, -er, and a little bit of homemade salsa. Now this salsa is just rough chopped tomatoes with onions and cilantro and garlic, jalapeno, and lime. That's it. Basic. Basic, fresh, full flavor. And that's what's fantastic about all these recipes is that they're uncomplicated, they're easy to assemble, but give you that power punch of flavor. Give me your power punch. Power punch. I a, punch. Um, a little low-fat sour cream, because okay. it adds a little bit of creaminess to this dish. Mm -hmm. Fresh cilantro. Okay. Garnish. That's a garnish. Mm -hmm. Okay. And what you're going to do is, we've all seen these before. You have them in your facility. One portion is two tostados, like so. Crispy tortillas. These are just cut into thin strips, baked in the oven. So imagine this unbaked, chop, 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 in the oven, crispy. Crispy. Yeah, and they hold for like two, three days. Keep them in an airtight container. Put that on top as garnish. And you know what this Finally, is. Yeah. What is this? Rice. Mexican rice, which you've all done a thousand times. Okay, you can just add a little bit of fresh parsley to that, and you serve it warm with the tostadas. Okay? Bright, it's colorful, it's seasonal, it's fresh. It's what the kids asked for. They wanted strong, bold flavors. They wanted foods from around the world. And this is what you end up with. Exciting, fun food that is made from scratch without... Um, Look nice. Yeah, it, just, it looks nice, but it's not difficult. It's really easy. Yeah. Rajit made it. <laughs> Thank you, chef. <laughs> This recipe is all the way from Italy. Italy. Yes, you know. Yes. Like that, you wave yeah. that. I'll drink a glass of wine. There's soccer going on now, huh? Rosh. Yeah. Now I know why you're happy all the time. <laughs> you drink no. the whole bottle. <laughs> you dress her up. All right, okay. seriously, do not drink wine when you make this recipe. Do it at mm. home. That's um, kids recipe. Yes. Don't you know what this dish is called? Yeah. One pot wonder. Just like Nonna used to make. Say Nonna. Okay. Penny pasta. Sure. Cooked penny okay. pasta. Put it all in. Okay. Okay, this is one hand recipe. Okay. Again, you're going to get the specs, you're going to get the details on the entire recipe, but for today and this video, it's really easy. Okay? Make the pasta ahead of time, day or two ahead, it's easy. Okay? Which one first? This. No, in second. Okay. Ground beef. Okay. Again, you can cook the ground beef ahead of time, cook it on a hot top, cook it on your grill, your flat top, and that's easy. Um, mixed peppers and onions. Yes, saute. Color, flavor. 
Go ahead. Homemade tomato sauce. Yes, I said homemade. It's not coming out of a jar. It's not coming out of a can. It's going to be made from scratch. Tomatoes, onions, garlic, chilies, a little bit of sugar, boom, 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 sauce. About, about half of that. Okay. Okay? Yeah. And notice, I'm just gently mixing it together, okay? What's great about this dish is that you literally could make it, put it in the hotel pan the mm -hmm. day before, and then just flash it in the oven. Bocconcini cheese. Okay. Give me your best Italian accent. Oh. Bocconcini. <laughs> How about this? Mamma mia. Give it to me. Mamma mia. Oh, mamma mia. <laughs> That's good. Fresh parsley. Okay. You want to put it in a little bit? Put the whole cup? works in. Parsley's good for your flavor. Yeah, put it in. That's too much. Okay. You want me to put it in a little bit? Okay, and then you would put a little bit of salt and pepper for a little extra flavor. And this is what you get. This beautiful kind of mix of pasta. Okay? Now, Raj, what you're going to do is you're going to put it in here. Okay. okay. Put it right in this. Okay. Right in there, like so. Perfect. Okay. Yep. Because it's extra. Okay. Mm -hmm. you can nice this. Now you sprinkle your cheese blend on top. Mm -hmm. And that's it. And that's it. You cover it. You Easy bake it in it. a preheated oven until it's warm. Mm -hmm. You don't need to cook the heck out of it. You just want to heat it up because guess what? Everything is cooked already. Okay. Put it in your steam table and the students and will be lining 20, up. 25 minutes. That's it. Ready to yeah, go. Don't get consumed with time. Okay. It's ready when it's ready. Okay. God gave us senses for a reason. Eyes, ears. If you see smoke, it's burning. If you hear people going, ah, you know you forgot about it. But that's it. Okay? And then you're going to serve it with two special side dishes, which we're going to show you in a bit. Thank you. I'm amazing. <laughs>
Mm-hmm. You've never smelled your socks? No. I call you on that one. Okay. You do this beautiful little crust on top, you cover it with foil, and you mm-hmm. bake it in the oven again until it's... Hot? Hot. Get brown too, golden brown. It, it'll top. brown as well. Exactly. And that's how you know it's ready. Put it into the steam table and you're ready to go. Done. That's good. You easy would. recipe. This one This too. one is so easy so that easy. even I can do Kids it. Kids love it. Kids love it. It tastes yeah. good. Looks good. Tastes good. Done. Now we're going to make bread knots, <laughs> Italian bread knots, or balls, nice. pizza balls. You know, when I think of pizza, I think of pizza dough. And you know what I think of? I think of the song. What's the song, Mish? Oops. Hey, you have to start. When the moon hits your eye like a big pizza pie, it's amore. Amore. <laughs> amore. <laughs> you could do an album. Okay. <laughs> Pizza dough. Okay. You all have that. Yeah. You see what I'm doing here? Mm-hmm. You ever play with dough when you were a kid? This is what you're doing. Okay. You get little bits like this. You're going to do this with me because I'm going to show you how easy it is. Okay. Ready made pizza dough. Roll it on a ball. You can do it like this, which is really hard, but the idea is you want to take it and go mm-hmm. like this, mm-hmm. down, mm-hmm. down. Okay. And just roll, 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 roll. Boom. Put them on a tray. See what we're doing? Like this? Mm-hmm. It's okay. like spider. Mm-hmm. Step on a spider. Okay. Roll. Okay. Okay. Great. Yeah. I'm going to do a couple more. Because when you're really good, you're going to do two at one time. Right. Wait, wait, wait. I'm going to race you. Ready? Mm-hmm. Wait, 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 wait. You're cheating. Okay. Hands behind the back. Okay. No, you're cheating. Okay, ready? Okay. Ready, Mark? It's like, okay. go. Two at one time. <laughs> Basically, you want a ball, okay? And you get them like that. Okay. Yours are looking a little defective. Mine. Hers? Mine. Okay. But you get the idea, right? So you do yeah, them all yeah. on the tray, then you yeah. take a little bit of extra virgin <laughs> olive oil. I got it. Are you sure? That is sad. <laughs> That one's no good. We don't use that one. Okay. okay. Do a little brush. Brush, 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 brush. Mm-hmm. Fresh rosemary on top. Okay. And a little bit of cracked sea salt. Okay, it just adds a little bit of flavor. The olive oil is gonna allow it to stick, but also is gonna get flavor and color. Okay? okay. Do a whole tray. Salt. Okay. Let them poof, which mm-hmm. means they get all puffy. You bake them in a preheated oven like 350 degrees, and you get these perfectly round bread knots. Wow. Just like that. Okay? And you're going to serve three per portion. And this kind of gives kids. It's like, this is to mint. This replaces the garlic bread. Oh. Oh. I got it. <laughs> Here, you want You can eat it. I'm eating it, eat it. Don't do this in the kitchen, just do it when you're filming with Corbin and Leslie. Now it's been. Check Corbin. When I'm in the kitchen, I like a big pizza pie. Do what we call this recipe? Crispy. Crunchy. Chicken. Pop. Yep. Crispy, crunchy chicken pop. Say that fast ten times. Go. <laughs> Crispy, crunchy chicken pop. That's it. Ten times. Ten. Times. Times. Okay. <laughs> okay. Starts with chicken breast. You all have seen that before, but you're going to cut into long thin strips just yes. like that. Yep. Add in flavor. Mm-hmm. I'm going to toss. You're going to gently yes. mix yep. chili powder. Mm-hmm. This gives flavor. Mm-hmm. A little bit of the Greek seasoning. You can put that yes. in there. Mm-hmm. And then some mm-hmm. fresh squeezed lime. lime juice. That's the whole thing. Yes. Okay. Mix, mix, mix. Marinate that in the morning, it's good to go. Don't eat this one. Now you're doing the show. Is that what this has become? Okay. Okay. Coffee stir sticks, not just for coffee, but for your crispy, crunchy chicken chicken pop. Okay. So you just literally put it on there like a skewer. Yeah. And as you're doing that, I'm going to do the coating. Yeah. Okay. Uh Which are vegetable chips. This is what gives us the, um, the crispy and the crunchy bit which are the terra chips, which you're all going to get, which are fantastic, and they're vegetables, and they're really tasty. So you're going to take one part of that, mm-hmm. and one part of the baked Lay's potato chips, yeah. 
So it's two kinds of chips, but even though that's got more than two. Right? You mix them all together like so. Look, I can do it with my eyes closed. See it? Because I can't. My eyes are closed. Just like that. Okay, again, you can do this ahead of time. You can put them in the uh, in an airtight container, and then they're good to go for when you have to bread. Now, when you bread, mm -hmm. why don't I show one? Look, look at it. There we go. This is good. This one. Skewer them all ahead of time, and then all you're going to do is put them in there, put it on there, and just kind of squish it on. Really coat it on top until you get, like, this breaded chicken. So it's kind of like the newly reinvented chicken finger. Just like so. But it's got all those flavors and spices in there, which the kids are going to love. Now, when we did this one for the, the menu sampling and the taste test in all the schools, yeah. this is the one they raved about. Yeah. They loved it. Yeah. And that's what it looks like. Okay? Put them on a baking tray, preheat your oven, mm -hmm. at least 350, 375 degrees, and you want to cook these till they're nice and crispy. Right, so that they're crunchy mm -hmm. with your chicken. Pop. Right. Okay. Okay? Yeah. Done. You can even make a full tray of them, put them in the freezer, thaw them, and then put them in the oven. They're that simple. You can do it all ahead of time. Okay? With those, you're going to serve them in a new vessel for the vittles. Chinese takeout container, which we've all seen a thousand times before, but we're going to do this one food truck style. Serve it on a stick, elevate it with some slaw, mm -hmm. and bake zucchini, which we're going to show you in the next recipe. That's impressive. You got it. Let's do it. <laughs>、Baked、zucchini sticks. This is to replace the French fry because we know how kids love French fries. They're good, they're tasty, but you know they've been done. But nobody does baked zucchini. And again, when the kids try this, what did they say? Love it. Oh, it's so good! Like、yeah. I've never heard so many kids say they love zucchini. It's kind、yeah. of freaky, actually. So you cut your zucchini into long, thin. Big sticks like this.、Mm -hmm. Okay? Leave the skin on because we want that. Okay. Then you basically are going to bread them. And it starts with flour,、yeah. an egg wash, and breadcrumbs.、Mm -hmm. How is this flour different? Seasoning. We add a Greek seasoning.、Yeah. Eggs, which is just beaten egg and a little milk. Milk, yeah. Cow juice and eggs. And this is. Cheese inside. Yeah, parmesan, parmesan cheese, cheese and again the panko breadcrumbs because、yeah. they stay crunchy、Tasty、and crispy. Crispy and crunchy. Yeah. And it's a good pairing with the chicken. Yeah. Okay,、uh, Rajit.、Uh -huh. Show them the magic and how to do this. Okay. First. Are we gonna do one at a time? Yeah. You have two hands. Okay. And I don't wear the I don't have the gloves on this one, so I'm hands off. Okay. So、and、you go there. Yeah. And then then the egg. Okay. So a good trick is always keep this hand dry,、mm -hmm. this hand wet. Yeah. Right.、Mm -hmm. And then you put okay, it in here. Okay. Three on the other side. Thank you. Yes, boss. Like this. Yeah, put it on、It's、the good plate, plate. like that. Okay. Now, how easy is that? Again, you do a whole tray of them.、Mm -hmm. Keep going. Okay. okay When I was、talk. a kid, the only way I could eat zucchini is if my mother shredded it and、mm -hmm. put it in chocolate cake. Oh. You ever had never zucchini had chocolate had... cake? No, I never. You've had never、that. had zucchini loaf? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's just the different shape of the loaf. <laughs> it's a cake, the、okay. bundt cake, which nobody does anymore. Okay, but it's this easy. And again, the trick on this is making sure that all the zucchini are cut in uniform pieces so they cook at the same time. Okay. Yeah. And most people, the kids, vegetarian now. Yeah. That's a good vegetarian、food. option. Yes. Not gluten free, mind you, but it is vegetarian. Vegetarian. Yeah. Are you having fun yet? You want to do it more or not? This is、That's、the last、enough. one. This、okay. is it. So you fill the whole tray. You preheat your oven. You pop them in. And how do you know when they're done? Change color, brown. Yeah, they get crispy.、Yeah. And you know what? The easiest way to tell、mm -hmm. if something is done by looking at it. Those two puppies and these two puppies. You have beautiful eyes, Raj. <laughs> Thank you. Am I making you blush now? <laughs> no. <laughs>、um, but there you have it. And you're going to serve this with the crispy, crunchy chicken pot, and you're going to have a wicked、um, slaw, which you're going to serve with this as well.、Yeah. Okay. And what the final product is going to look like is this. So you've got、like、your container、it. with the paper, the zucchini sticks,、mm -hmm. the chicken pops, and of course your Horse. homemade slaw, which has got a punch of、um, horseradish in it. Yes. Okay. And again, really easy. Seems complicated and fancy, but it's not. 
kids love it, and this is our food truck inspiration for Thursdays with Chef Corbin. And I think Excellent. we may have to add your name on there now. The Chef Corbin and... Haji. Show. Yep. <laughs>